think for a lot of people yeah. it is, you know, because it's just that uncomfortable feeling. You can't quite get cool. Uh, so that's what we'll deal with today. The humidity will really be up there. Uh, but the good news is it will drop a little bit as we head into the day tomorrow. So we're starting this day with uh, some patchy fog for some, but clouds for everyone. It is cloudy and 74 degrees in Central Park. Want to talk pollen because we do have some pollen to deal with today. Tree and grass pollen both low, but ragweed, mold, and weeds all moderate today. So if you are an allergy sufferer and you happen to know that these are your triggers, make sure that you do whatever it is you need to do to be comfortable today. So we'll have to deal with you know, obviously pollen for some, but humidity for all. Your Skycast satellite and radar shows that we're starting out this day without any rain at the moment, but we do have a chance for showers, possibly even thunderstorms today, so you want to grab that rain gear before you head out the door. We do have a warm front stretched across the area now. We have a cold front just off to our north and west, so unsettled weather is really the least we can call it in terms of what we're dealing with today. At the same time, we are still tracking Ida. It is now a tropical storm storm with 60 mile an hour sustained winds, of course, higher gusts. The, the bad part is it's moving north at only eight miles an hour. And this storm, unfortunately, has been moving at a snail's pace since it made landfall yesterday afternoon in Louisiana. So we every place that it uh, is moving right now, just dropping copious amounts of rain and, of course, still seeing those very damaging winds, even though it has been downgraded to a tropical storm. We're following Ida and we will continue to follow it because we do expect it to bring rain to our area as early as in this particular model, 9 o'clock Wednesday morning. We'll be looking at that remnant low, still quite the rainmaker. So we expect to see some significant rain from the system Wednesday, uh, starting Wednesday, and then really throughout the day on Thursday. Finally, we start to see this. It should exit uh, early Friday, making for a better end to the work week and a much nicer weekend. But we will have some flood alerts that will go into effect. So a flash flood watch right now. It's most of New Jersey starting Wednesday morning. Uh, and it will remain in effect until Thursday afternoon. We may have to add some additional counties between now and Wednesday, but this is what uh, we know uh, in terms of a flood alerts for this system. The European model, the future cast in terms of looking at rain and saying how much do we think we'll get from the system? Well, I think you can see anywhere from just over one inch of rain to just over four inches of rain. All of that is going to be possible as the remnants of Ida move into the tri-state area. Again, this is Wednesday into Thursday. For today, completely different source, 86 degrees, so definitely warm, very sticky because the dew points are really high today and we do have a chance for some showers, possibly a thunderstorm. So it is going to be by some people's standards, hot and humid uh, because of that 86 degree temp and that uh, really those dew points that we consider to be oppressive. Tomorrow will be better, still warm, 84 degrees, dew points down a little bit, not as a significant a chance of seeing rain. And then Wednesday is when we deal with the remnants of Ida or at least begin to. So 73 degrees on Wednesday, cloudy, very rainy. Uh, Thursday, we'll continue to deal with that 76 degrees, but by Friday, it looks like we'll be back in the business of sunshine and the weekend right now is looking great, mostly sunny, with temps in the low 80s. And with that, I'll send it back to you. Elise, thank you.